guys, it's Dr. Sloan from the farm again. Again, this week we have Mia. She's helping us with the next gymnast fix. Today we're going to talk about hip extension. Um, Mia's going to show us the correct and the incorrect way to extend our hip. So when I'm talking about hip, all I'm talking about is our femoral acetabular joint. Nothing to do with the low back. So if I were to do a true hip extension, all you'd see is my glute max squeeze and my leg move. Nothing through my midsection to move at all. So a lot of times we replace hip extension with lumbosacral extension, so it's gonna look more like that. So I want you to look for that in your gymnast. So Mia's gonna show us a couple ways that you can spot it. All right, go ahead and lay in your belly for me. And we'll spin you around. Nope, stay right there on your belly. We're just gonna spin you. There you go, good thing you're tiny. All right, so Mia's gonna do an incorrect hip hinge here. And all, you, all you're gonna have to do is have your gymnast lay on their stomach. You're gonna say, hey, why don't you lift this leg up for me? Good and back down. And I want you to notice where her hinge is or where she's lifting from. And it's gonna be a lot from the low back. So if she didn't have this Leo on, you could actually see her lumbar erectors, these muscles engage. And if I had my finger kind of on her tush here and then on her low back, I'll have her raise again. And I'm gonna feel muscle contraction here rather than her glute. All right, so now Mia's gonna do it correctly. And we've been through this with Mia. Uh, we've tried to, oh, beautiful. And so you'll actually see this stay pretty neutral and go ahead and she'll lead up using her glute rather than her lumbar spine and her lumbar erectors. This is something that we worked with Mia on when her low back was hurting um, in her bridging, uh, bridging skills, back walkovers, back handsrings, things like that. All right, the next way we're gonna demonstrate it is in a hip hinge. So go ahead and go up on your knees. Good, and we're gonna turn you right there for me. A simple hip hinge, this is used every day in gymnastics and all skills, you wouldn't think, think it, but any kind of round off back handspring, we're gonna get our power from our glutes and from opening and snapping up of our, up of our hips, where most people, if they're doing it incorrectly, they're gonna get it from their low back. So let's see a incorrect hip hinge. Good, and back up. Good, so if she was coming out of a round off into a back handspring, if she were to do that hip hinge that she's gonna do again, do the incorrect one, and she's coming out of a round off into her back handspring. Go ahead, keep going. She's arching in her back, and I can actually visibly see her lumbar erectors. These muscles pop out here. So now she's gonna do it correctly. So squeeze your tush under, go ahead and hip hinge down, and up. Good, ideally we'd have this a little bit flatter, but it's so much better than that um, lumbar uh, lordotic position. Go ahead and do it again correctly for me. Beautiful, and she's gonna drive up using her glutes. Wonderful. She's going to have so much more power output gained from uh, using her glutes into hip extension rather than lumbar extension. All right, the third way you can find it or you can test it, go ahead and go into your uh, lunge for me. Good. And let's turn just a little bit so we're angled here. Stay on the table. Good. All right, let's do it incorrectly. So everyone does this stretch in practice. I know it. Everyone does it in a split. I'm sure we're very used to seeing this position. Oh, look how flexible she is. It's beautiful, right? All that I see is this lumbar curve right here, and I see um, an, a very stressed hip joint in the front here. So come back up. I'm gonna have her grow tall. I'm gonna have her squeeze and neutralize her pelvis. Good, and now move forward. And she gets a much different and much more effective stretch this way versus go ahead and go lazy for me rather than there. And you can see that one little change. Come back up, squeeze your tush from here and then do it incorrect, all she does is just bend and arch through her low back. So that's one more way that you can test hip extension. All right, come on out of that. So there's three ways that you can identify proper hip extension patterns in your gymnast. Uh, lay them out on their belly, just have them raise one leg and then the other. See if they're getting it from your low back or actually getting it from their glutes. The second way is hip hinge on their knees. You can have them even bend back into a bridge from there. Third way is in a lunge. All right, if you guys have any questions, just let us know and I'll see you guys next week.